Hey, Raina Tanaka. Wanna read it together? Um, yes. Okay, read it just a little bit. The Fairy and the Magic Wish. One sunny morning, the fairy friends gathered in a woodland glade. It's almost Midsummer's Day, said Fairy Fern, our fairy queen's birthday. What can we give her? How about a magic wish? Suggested Fairy Raindrop. She can use it for whatever she likes. The fairies waved their wands together to make a really big and beautiful wish. Only Fairy Angelica was too young to help. She had not yet earned her wand. When the magic wish was ready, the fairies made a pretty net of spiders, silk and rose petals to carry it in. Fairy Angelica, said Fairy Fern kindly, you can help now. Will you carry our gift to the fairy queen? Angelica flew as fast as her little wings would carry her to the queen's palace. But she had not flown far when a sad little voice floated up to her. Angelica looked down, on a rock, in the middle of a sparkling stream, sat a tiny frog. Oh my! croaked the frog. I wish I could jump like my brothers, so I could join in their games. Angelica felt sorry for the little frog. Surely it wouldn't matter if she used just a tiny bit of the magic wish to help him? A minute later, the little frog was leaping with the rest of his family, as happy as a frog can be. Fairy Angelica smiled and flew on her way. Across meadows and lakes, the little fairy flew. The sun rose in the sky and warmed her wings. Soon she saw a huge, golden wheat field and, once again, she heard a sad little sound. Oh, my whiskers! squeaked a baby mouse. I wish I could find my way home. I didn't mean to run so far. Angelica felt sorry for little mouse. Angelica felt sorry for the little mouse. She wanted to help him but she knew she reached the fairy queen's palace before nightfall. Surely it wouldn't matter if she used another tiny bit of the magic wish? A minute later, the little mouse was scampering into his nest, as happy as a mouse can be. Fairy Angelica waved and flew on her way. The sun was slipping down the sky as Angelica arrived at the enchanted forest where the fairy queen held her carrot. Just as she reached the trees, the little fairy heard, once more, a small, sad sound. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Who did a fluffy baby owl, sitting on the ground under a tree? I wish I hadn't tried to fly too soon. How can I get home? Angelica felt sorry for the little owl. He would never be able to climb up to the hole in the tree trunk where he lived. Surely it wouldn't matter if she used one last little bit of the magic wish to help him? A minute later, the little owl was perched on the edge of his home, as happy as owl can be. Fairy Angelica said goodbye and hurried on her way. Daylight faded. Angelica held up the glowing wish to see the way. It seemed smaller and fainter now. Before she could think what to do, she found herself in front of the fairy queen's palace, and the queen herself came out to greet her. Angelica curtsied. Your magical majesty, she began, instead of what she meant to say, the story of the way she had used the wish came tumbling out, Angelica hardly dared to look up, but she needn't have worried. The queen was laughing. My dear, said the queen, your kindness has been the best gift of all. Now it is your turn to have a wish come true. She handed the little fairy a beautiful wand. Angelica was a grown-up fairy at last. Thanking the queen and smiling, Angelica waved her wand and wished herself home, as happy as a fairy can be.